Hey guys, Bhushan here. Welcome to Spring MVC and my bet is video course. In this video course, we will be developing a Java web application using Spring MVC and my bet is. Before I begin the video, I'm happy to announce that my brother has just started a blogger, letitout.in, where you will find an interesting post on consistency, productivity, and if you want to get motivated, then these posts will really help you. I personally like this website, so make sure to check out this website. The link will be given in the description section and also you can bookmark this website for future reference. Now back to video. I hope you guys have already heard about the terms Spring MVC and MyBetis. Spring MVC which is a Java web application framework using which we can build a Java enterprise applications. MyBetis which is also called as iBetis which is a ORM tool or you can say ORM framework using which we can connect it to any relational database such as MySQL, MSSQL, Oracle etc etc. In this video course we will be developing a Java web application that connects to a MySQL database and we are going to perform the basic database operations such as create, read, update and delete. Since this course is more focuses on the database part, I will not going to cover the basics of Spring MVC and MyBetis. But I'll drop a few resources to each and every lecture so that you can read those resources and understand the basics of Spring MVC and MyBetis. This course is for those who have already have a basic knowledge of Spring MVC and MyBetis and if they want to upgrade their knowledge or if they are struggling with integrating the Spring MVC and MyBetis then this is the perfect course for you. In this video course we will be integrating the Spring MVC and MyBetis and we are going to perform the database operations. So in this video course we are going to build an employee directory application. If we talk about the application features the user can add an employee or you can list an employee or you can read an employee and you can update an employee and delete an employee. So this is called a CRUD operations create, read, update and delete. The user can enter the first name, last name and email address and the gender and his hobbies and he can select the place and he can enter the address and he can store the data to the database. So then what are we waiting for? Let's have a look at the demo of the final application that we're going to build in this video course. So the application is already running on my machine. So I'll open the Chrome browser and I'm going to enter the URL localhost8037 slash spring mybetis. I have changed the Tomcat address to 8037, but in your case, it might be 8080, which is default. So this is the landing page of our employee directory application. So in this page, the user can list the employees and the user can add an employee and update an employee and delete an employee. So let's click on this add employee. Let's enter a name. Select the gender, hobbies, and he's from India and address from Bangalore. Click save and you can see the record has been added to the list Arjun and email address mail and his hobbies and his country and city and the user can update the record click on this update. Let's say the user is from Mysore and he is from Australia and click on save and you can see the record has been updated earlier it was India now it is Australia and it was Bengaluru earlier and it is Mysore now the user can delete the record click on this and it will ask for the confirmation are you sure want to delete this employee permanently if you cancel this then it will not delete the employee record if you click OK, the employee record will be deleted from the database. So this is the application that we're going to create in this video course. I hope you guys have a great time in this video course. If you have any questions about this video course, leave your questions in the comment section or open up a question in the forum. I'm happy to assist you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.